in this lecture i will show you how you can register three domain names for free so open your google search engine and type github students developer pack now click on the first link that says education.github.com slash pack once the site is fully loaded click on the get your pack button after that scroll down and click on get students benefits button it will forward you to a login page if you have a github account you can simply log in or below you can click on create an account button on the create your account home page enter your username email id and password and then fill in the captcha button and verify it once done then you can log in to your github account after that it will forward you to a page that says get your github students benefit then scroll down to qualify for the student benefits you must be currently enrolled in a degree or diploma or in a high school and you must have a verifiable school id and you must be at least 13 years of age then you scroll down and it will ask you to add an email address here you will have to add the email address that is registered with your university or school id and fill in the options given below after that click on the continue button on the next page it will ask you to upload your school or university id after you have uploaded your school or university id it will take some time to verify it after it is verified congratulations you have successfully completed the first step github student developer pack and log in to your github account once you have done that click on the get your pack button now scroll down here you can see so many different options on that click on domains now scroll down and you can see three different options one with namecheap name.tech and .tech domains these are the three registrars from which you can get a free domain name so after clicking on the get your pack button scroll down and in the namecheap tab you can see below down there it is get access by connecting your github account on namecheap so click on namecheap it will redirect to a authorized nc.me page here you have to authorize the github account it will ask you for your password so just enter your password and click continue after that a page will open that says claim your free domain now in the tab enter the domain name that you want so i will type web direct and after loading it web direct dot me is available so just click on add to cart button and after it is selected you have to click on the complete order button and then it will tell and then it will ask you to log in into the namecheap account if you have one you can log in there otherwise you can sign up for one after after login and creating your account it will show a page like this that thanks for using namecheap your domain name has been registered so now close all the tabs and open namecheap.com and log in to your account in this lecture i showed you how to register a free domain name through namecheap you can use the exact same process on other two registrars .tech domain and name.com and claim your free domain name now you have probably received your confirmation email and activated your account with godaddy.com or namecheap.com to administer your domain name visit the namecheap.com website and click the account button under the accounts tab click on dashboard now enter your username and password and click sign in when you log in to your account you will see a few links the first one is domains expand the domains menu and here you will see the domains you currently have with namecheap.com you can also see when the domain name expires and if the registration type is public or private under the actions heading you will see two buttons 
Now click the manage button. On this page, we can perform any administrative action relating to our domain name. Under the domain details section, we can see our domain name webdirected.me. We can see the status of the domain name, the date it was created and when it expires. We can also manually renew the domain by clicking the renew button. To delete the domain, we can press the delete button. Under the settings tab, the first option is auto renew. It is a good idea to keep the auto renew button enabled. If you forgot to renew your domain before its expiration date, the domain is automatically placed back in the market for resale. Auto renew will automatically renew your domain and charge the amount to the payment option you have on file. Click the manage button to turn auto renew on or off. We can see the expiration date for this domain is May 2022.